In this video, you will learn two ways on how to scroll on a web page with Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. The first method is going to be using a focus text field and the second method is going to be using JavaScript. Now, in some browser automation flows that you build, you're going to have to scroll a web page to show some elements that are hidden by default so that you can extract these elements, modify them and so on. Now, let's jump into this video and see the first method of how to do this with focusing a text field on a page. To scroll to a specific element on a web page, you can deploy the focus text field on a web page action. Now, you would spy an element that is hidden from you. You would scroll down to it, spy it and select it. And then when your automation runs, you would focus that text field so that the browser will scroll down automatically to that page. Usually web applications contain loading more elements at the bottom of pages to display many elements. Apart from the focus text field on a web page action, you can scroll down on web pages using JavaScript as well. To run JavaScript on web pages, use execute JavaScript function on the web action found in your Microsoft Power Automate actions pane. JavaScript provides the windows.scroll to expose and y pause function that scrolls to a specific part of the page. Now this is very simple the way that it works. The expose placeholder indicates the horizontal scroll while the y pause placeholder indicates the vertical scroll. So by inserting 0 and 500 you will, or minus 500, you will scroll down 500 to wherever you need to go. You can replace both placeholders with hard-coded values, properties or variables. In the following example, the function contains hard-coded values and you can use this in your browser. If you want to scroll to the bottom of a web page, you can replace the white post placeholder with document body scroll height property. Now, this will allow you to automatically scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. If you want to scroll inside an element of a web page, not the page itself, you can use the HTML DOM property scroll top. In the following example, the function locates the div element and scrolls vertically 10 pixels down. Now, this is useful when, this, when the scroll down is not contained on the page, but in a div or an element that pops up or that is separate from the main page. With these two methods, you can scroll down at any page on any browser without any difficulties making your automations a lot easier. If you're looking for more tips and suggestions like this, make sure to follow and comment for more and check out my other videos. Keep in mind also that I will be creating an amazing citizen developer course that will be coming in the first weeks of January. This course is going to include everything that you need to become a full-fledged citizen developer. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.